Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at um, something I found with the light hash rate uh, GPUs from NVIDIA, the 3000 series, since they started making those with just the light hash rate version, it makes it kind of difficult for miners uh, to get the full potential of the GPU at mining power. I did come across um, T-Rex miner that has been working at trying to get around the issue with the light hash rate um, and so they've actually made it so that you can do a little bit of modifications with while using T-Rex miner in order to get better hash rates than you would otherwise. So I'm going to give you a couple examples today. Um, today I'm using our um, RTX 3070 uh, from NVIDIA. These are some cards that I bought when I first started mining and didn't realize that they had a light hash rate. Um, I looked all around the box. I couldn't find where it said it, but on the very bottom of the box it says LHR right there. So that's where I figured out, oh, that's why I can't mine at full potential. I thought I should be getting around, uh, you know, 55 to 60 mega hash a second with these cards, and I was only getting 30. So I was trying to figure out what was going on until I found out, hey, it's light hash rate. That's why. That was the problem. So I was only mining at 30 uh, hash rate a second. But um, I, in a previous video, I did talk about if you're going to go ahead and just run it like that, a really good coin to mine right now on the Kapow algorithm is Ravencoin uh, because that's going to only allow you to run about the 30 mega hash anyways with just about any card. So take that for what it's worth depending on the value of Ravencoin. But today I'm going to show you how we can actually boost our numbers, our hash rate with this using T-Rex Miner. So behind me I have my rig I have set up. I have three 3070 cards on this rig. Um, right now I am running them on T-Rex Miner and uh, I got it modified so that they are actually running instead of the 30 hash rate that they typically would get. I'm actually getting close to 43, 44 right now. So let's go ahead and dive into the computer and let's take a look at what's going on here. Alright guys, so we'll quickly go over this. So I just started my um, recording my screen recorder so you're gonna notice my GPU zero takes a hit on my mining my hash rate um, what I have running right now is I have T-Rex miner the latest version of T-Rex miner and I have turned off the low hash rate as much as I can I've got it to level four um, you see here low hash rate detected so it found something going on with GPU zero. Well, that is because I turned on my my recorder. Um, you're gonna see that what that's going to do, it's gonna start limiting my hash rate right off the bat. But what it's also gonna do is it's gonna change the level that it's mining at. So not only is it move, bumping it down, but now it just changed it to level three instead of level four. So it's a lower, I'm gonna get lower hash rate with this. So just to keep an eye on that, um, I encourage you while you're running it, this program right here with the low hash rate turned off, um, be careful not to overclock your settings or make big adjustments um, or game while you are mining or else it's going to automatically detect the low hash rate on your card and start reducing your hash rate again, bringing it to a, a lower level which reduces the hash rate. So. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I got to this point. So I'm going to show you what I did in order to get to this point where I can override the low hash rate and gain myself about 20%, 20-25% more hash power for mining on the T-Rex miner. So the first thing you want to do is go and make sure you have the latest version of the T-Rex miner. What I have here is 22.1. And when you download T-Rex miner, it's also going to come with a bunch of bat files. So those bat files are going to determine what you are mining, what pool you're mining to, um, or solo mining, what coin you're mining, where you're sending all of the information. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the the E3M2 miners one here and I'm gonna right click and say edit and this is gonna bring up all the information in here it's only one string of code but there's a lot to be said in here so it's saying when this 
bat file is ran, it's going to run T-Rex Miner as long as that's in that file location. It's also going to be running the e ET hash algorithm. We're going to go ahead and attach ourselves to the two miners.com pool. Um, and then it asks your where you want this to be mining to or your information sent to. So this is my Bitcoin receiving address for my crypto wallet. Uh, feel free if you want to make any donations, you can send them right to that wallet. I would appreciate that. You can also set a password. You can also set a title, a name for this. So when you go ahead and go into your uh, two miners account, if that's what you're using, you can see that these are my 3070s that I have running. You can put any name you want on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, on my next file what I put and it's going to be right in here. So I already did this. I have one already set up right here. So I'm just going to open this one so you can see. What you're going to do is you're going to put dash dash LHR for low hash rate, another dash, and then say tune, T-U-N-E. And basically what you're saying is we're going to tune this low hash rate to the furthest possible point that we can right now that T-Rex is enabled for us. So that is level four. And why I have four of these here is because I have three cards. Each card has to have a designated level that you're setting it to or else it's just going to use the default low hash rate. So I set these to level four and then I run that file and that's what I have running in the background. Okay. So if I want to show you what I would get without that running, I would just go ahead and stop this one and we're going to start this one. It's going to take a second to go through, but basically it's going to go ahead and load all this up. And granted, this is with the low hash rate just right out of the box if this is what you run it at. Okay, so it's given our first result here. So obviously GPU zero, that's the one where we're using up our our bandwidth with this uh, recording this video. So I'm only at 25 there, but we got 33 and 33. And that's about what I've found typically. If I just let this run at stock values, it's gonna be 33 mega hash. Um, I've already got this overclocked as far as I can in order to get this 33. When I first got these cards before overclocking, it only ran about 29 to 30. So with overclocking, I got it to 33. I got 122 watts on one and 112 watts on the other. And they're running right just under 60 Celsius. So they're, they're running pretty good. Um, so that's kind of what I've seen with the low hash rate. Now, obviously, I, I know a better way. I'm going to go ahead and disable that low hash rate as much as I can. So let's go ahead and fire that up. You can take a quick peek at that. One thing you'll notice when you fire this up, if you wrote everything down in the bat file correctly or you typed it in there correctly, it's going to come up with low hash rate 4. It's already going to give it that level of 4 for each one. And then it's going to say waiting to make sure GPU is LHR unlocked. So that's always a good sign. And then once it gets going, you'll see that it's going to keep it at that low hash rate level 4 unless you do something crazy like overclocking while this is running or running a game or watching a movie or recording a video like I am now and it's going to detect that low hash rate on your card and it's gonna modify that level for you so right here we're at 30 30 and 20 if I let this keep running it's gonna bump back up to our normal levels I'm gonna shut this off for a minute let it go ahead and run for a while without the screen recorder or anything and then I'll show you the results here in just a minute. All right, guys, so I went ahead and started the recording again just to show you guys. So here we got 44, 43, 44. The next one we got 43, 44, 45. It bounces around a little bit. And here it says low hash rate detected. What happened here is this is right when I turned on the recorder. So it noticed there was a big jump, something happened. So it detected the low hash rate because I turned on the recorder and all of a sudden a boom, it knocks me back down to 36. 
if you even just let your miner run for a couple days and come back, you might notice that everything bumped down to level three. So I would periodically just check on your miner if you're using this. Um, and every once in a while, you might wanna just close it and restart the miner again, just to get that back up to level four. Um, that's always a good idea. So just a couple of uh, uh, words of wisdom just to keep you uh, mining at full capacity and enjoying it and trying to get the most out of your cards. Um, what, so what I figure it's a right about, you know, really about 25% gain in what we can get with our hash rate by using the latest T-Rex miner, making those small bat file changes. And hopefully that helps you be more profitable with those uh, low hash rate cards. So if you like this video, please subscribe, um, like it. Go ahead and add any comments down at the bottom if you have any questions or you would like to have um, discussion or like to see a video on something else. So I appreciate you guys. Have a good day.